Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Fishing with Alias. We're right here in my house and um, I wanted to do something different for you guys. I've been working on a lot of expensive kayak, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollar kayaks and um, I felt like I needed to do something different because the truth is that if you're starting with kayak fishing, you're not gonna go spend three thousand dollars. Not many people do that. You want to start with something like this to see if, if it's something that you like something cheap and then go from there so today what I got for you guys here is my version of turning a below $300 regular seat on top kayak into a fishing kayak and I want to do everything under $350 now you could probably make it cheaper but this is my version this is what I have I'm basically gonna get this Tom Dolphin kayak and turn it into a fishing kayak with the help of Yak Gear. Yak Gear is a super cool company. I like those people over there. I've been using their products for a long time. Been using real blast and rod holders. The Sea Talk is one of my favorite things ever. And what Yak Gear is doing for us today, they sent me over their basic angler kit milk crate. And we're gonna get that and put it here and turn this kayak into a fishing kayak. And we're gonna do all this stuff for less than $350. So let's get to it before we get to it let me give you a walkthrough of this kayak so this kayak right here i mean it's msrp is about 300 dollars but you could get it cheaper i've seen it online for 225 dollars let's just give you a little walkthrough it has this nice carry handle right here on the back drain plug i wish it was under it not in over it but i guess you could make it work nice decent sized tank well because this is not a huge kayak but you know it has a lot of storage right there the seat, of course, is not the best. You just have the back rest, but you could easily set up something up with phone or something. Just make it a nice seat. Or you could get a seat for yourself, you know. So you got that option. Right here, you got a nice storage inside. Moldering storage. You could drop your keys. Something that is not water. Something that is water is not going to damage it. Right here, you got a nice place for your, your bottle right here. Boom. And with this bungee cable right there, holds it in place something nice about this kayak is look at that it has full rest adjustable that's cool if you decide to put like a trolling motor on the back with a super light battery you could use that to go hands-free fishing capri 10 right here capri 10 <laughs> and you get another drain plug right here which is awesome you got one on each side you only get one carry handle in your paddle park right there now let's go over some of the specification of the kayak we can see that it's 10 feet long it's about 28 and a half inches wide is the height of the kayak is 13 uh, inches 44 pounds in weights and it holds 250 pounds so if you're close to that this is not the kayak for you but if you're under 200 pounds this thing could work for you no problem you can see some dolphin in there now it does not come with a paddle this paddle is my paddle aluminum paddle is about 20 dollars at Walmart uh, now that I'll give you that walkthrough let me turn the kayak over so you can see how it looks. Nice, right? I haven't been on it, I don't know how stable it is. But one of the things that it has, it comes with scoper plugs right here. And it's self bailing because it has one, two, three, four scoper holes. Not a bad kayak. Let's go ahead and check the stuff that I got from Jag Gear. So they sent me this $20 rod holder R. You could get it from Amazon, link down below, $20. It comes with this little plate. I need to see where I wanna put it. Maybe it will fit in here. All right, so right here we got the kayak angler crate kit for kayak, canoes, and paddle boards, right? Grab and go, basically. You have the leashes, the milk crate with two rod holders. You get your anchor right here, the anchor click, and an accessory pouch. Boom. The rod holders and your anchor and the click. We got the rod holder R. We got the anchor kit right here. This is a three pound anchor right here. Pretty nice actually. What I like to do with the anchor is tie it down from over here because Right here, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a seat tie right here. So if the anchor for some reason get, gets caught up somewhere, you cannot really take it out. 
this zip tie will break and then you just pull it like this and it will come out let's go ahead and get the bit 532 532 right here Got this nice PC phone torrent bait caster with a PC phone torrent rod, which is awesome. Like it, like it, like it. Let's sit down here on the kayak. Oops. Let's see how that's perfect. Right there on the back. So it's better to put this right here so it doesn't doesn't bother you when you're fishing. You want to put your rod away from you. You still have a lot of If I put the pouch here, I could just reach out to it with my right hand, which makes it easy. All right, let's do that. Talking about that, you don't need this much rope. Well, I'm one of those people who always misplacing things. So I just gonna keep it together. So I'm not gonna cut it in half. Anyways, so it comes with this little sea tie. Tears. The idea behind this sea tie right here is that when you anchor yourself, let's say you anchor yourself with this claw anchor and then you happen to hit like a rock, like there's no way you're gonna pull that out and this is like, I don't know how many pounds this is, but this is a heavy line. All right, so there is no way that you're gonna get yourself out of there and there is a boat coming and you need to get out. So instead of cutting the line, all you have to do is just pull this thing as hard as you can and it gives way, you see? That's how it's supposed to look. Take your time with this thing. Don't do what I did. All right, so if I'm fishing, maybe I wanna have it right here. Maybe I have it right there in the rear holder. So now that we found this little self-stopping screws, we got uh, three or four of them. We're gonna just put it through there. I would have done rivets and stuff, but I don't have rivets right here with me today. But if this pops up, just replace them with rivets. Let's put the rod. Let's put the water. So you got the click right here. These screws, when you put them in, they're gonna bond with the plastic and they're gonna seal it. Kayaks, if you're using, if you've been using kayak for a long time, you know why they have a, a drain plug. Because water is gonna get in. Doesn't matter what the heck you do. It doesn't matter if you silicone the whole thing, water is gonna get in because plastic give, it moves. And then it's just gonna span and water is gonna get in, water is gonna find a way. Doesn't matter if you spend $3,000, $5,000, $300 on a kayak water is gonna find a way and let's get on the water guys you have a nice rod holder camera boom pole mount whatever you want to call it it's right there all right so we're gonna get wet it's okay pretty windy right here today man the paddle is not that heavy Ooh, this thing feels awesome! Ooh, I feel like I'm going three miles an hour. Oh my god, this thing is awesome! Ooh, look at this guys, look at this! Let's throw the anchor. I got the click on the other side. Oh boy. Alright, paddle. All right, so, well, paddle is leech, so you can go away if you want. All right, I think we're good. Up -oh, up -oh. 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes. Let's test this bait, see what's up with it. Let's 
sit down. Ready? Ready, set, go! hit five miles an hour on this thing. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs>